Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with WordPress on DreamHost with their DreamPress hosting. Now, this video is going to be split up into two parts. The first part is setting up your hosting with DreamHost, as well as getting a domain name and the SSL certificate for your website. And then the second part is going to be me walking through the process with you about how to do some basic WordPress uh, things, such as adding a new blog post, pages, plugins, and changing your theme. So let's go ahead and hop right on into it. Okay, so go to dreamhost.com and click on get started. And as you can see, there are three different options for hosting your website. The one we're interested in is DreamPress, which is specifically designed for WordPress. And like I said, includes a free domain name. So let's go ahead and sign up for that. And on the next page here, you'll see that there are three options for associating a domain name with your website. You can either choose a domain name later, register a new domain name, or if you already have one, you can associate it that way. We wanna take advantage of that free domain name, so let's register a new domain name, so click on that. And in the resulting text box, you can search for the domain name that you want. For me, I'm gonna look for tonyteachestech.com, and luckily for me, this domain name is available, so let's add that for $0 because this is free. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and fill out my credit card information, so we'll go ahead and skip past that. And under here, under the additional options, we don't need the website builder, even though it's free, and Dream Shield protection for three extra dollars per month, so you can uncheck those as well. Finally, down here at the bottom, click on Submit Order, and this will take a few seconds to process as your account is created, your billing is added, and your domain is added. So on the next page, they want you to create a password for your DreamHost account. So go ahead and do that, and then click Continue to DreamPress. All right, guys, so as you can see, this will take about five minutes to set everything up. So what we're gonna do is skip past that, and five minutes later, we'll see that our hosting package is ready. So go ahead and click on manage. And the first thing we want to do is look at our website. And this is the one thing that I don't like about DreamHost is the fact that they don't actually set up an SSL certificate for you. We have to do this manually. So if we go back to our panel and click on domains up here and click on SSL TSL certificates, we can add an SSL certificates manually by clicking on the add button and installing the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. As it says here, this could take up to 15 minutes for this to install, but when it does, you can refresh the page and see that the SSL certificate has been installed. Okay guys, now that we have our SSL certificate installed and we'll verify that in a second, let's come back in here and go to under domains, the website section. And this is where we'll see that we have our DreamPress hosting. Um, you can either access WordPress dashboard directly by clicking on this button, but you can also access your hosting control panel uh, by clicking on manage here and this is what your hosting control panel basically looks like you can do everything from managing your your hosting plan uh, to changing your domain name doing on-demand backups and there's also um, automatic backups that happen on a daily basis creating a staging area we won't talk about too much but basically staging is like a uh, a website that you can make changes to that don't affect your actual website it's like a copy of your website um, where you can play around with things and um, it doesn't really change anything on your main website unless you move those changes to your main website. Hopefully that makes sense. I'll have another video about that. And then migration, if you wanna bring in your WordPress website from another hosting platform onto DreamHost, you can do that through here. Um, so that's all, all the hosting uh, things. If you wanna work with hosting as far as your domain and all that stuff, that's where you do that within dreamhost.com. But if you wanna manage your actual WordPress website as far as the way it looks, the content on it and all that stuff, you actually do that uh, right here through the manage WordPress link. And that's gonna take us in a new tab to our domain name. Me is tonyteachestech.com slash WordPress admin. That's how we access our WordPress admin dashboard. And as you can see here, we are using HTTPS now because of our SSL certificate and we got that lock icon up here. So our connection is secure and we can look at the SSL certificate that we just installed um, and that looks good. So with all of that out of the way, I want to continue on here. And um, the, one of the first things I'd like to do here with DreamHost, WordPress on DreamHost, is to come in the plugin section. And I was in here before, you're probably gonna have a whole list of plugins here 
Um, and I don't necessarily like the fact that DreamHost installs like eight or nine different plugins, but what I recommend you do is to deactivate and delete them. Most, you can keep some of them. Um, it's up to you, but basically I just like to start with a clean slate and not have anything pre-installed in my website. So that's why I'm starting from scratch here, fresh. And if you're not familiar with uh, plugins in general with WordPress, plugins just allow you to add additional functionality to your website. So um, there's literally like thousands of different plugins that you can choose from. If we wanted to add a new plugin, uh, we won't, I guess I'll, I'll, I guess I'll show you how to do that. So you go up here to plugins, add new, and um, here's like a, a little glimpse of the plugins that are, I guess, featured in this case. Here's some popular plugins and actually um, some plugins that I use on all my websites are Contact Form 7, which allows you to add a contact form to your website where people can come to your contact page, type in their name, email address, a little message to you, and that'll go directly to your inbox. So if you wanted to install that, you can click on Install Now, and then that'll install, and then we can activate it, and that'll make it uh, live on our website. So now we can see that in our list of plugins. But I also wanted to mention I also use Yoast SEO on pretty much most of my websites. Um, and yeah, there's just hundreds, thousands of different plugins that you can choose from. Um, so that, that would take a while to cover all them, but I just want to make you aware that they do exist and they can add extra, extra functionality to your website. Um, as far as writing actual blog posts, uh, that is one of the core features of WordPress and we can write a new blog post by clicking on posts up here. Um, and let's just click on this and you can see that we have a sample hello world blog post here. But if we wanted to add a new blog post, we can click up here, add new. And let's just do that real quick. Let's add a, a small uh, blog post. So I'll say, uh, welcome to my blog. And I'll say, this is my first blog post. Thanks for stopping by, Tony. Okay, and this is the WordPress block editor. Um, you can add different elements. This doesn't just have to be text. Uh, you can add images. You can add gal a gallery, which is a collection of images. And there's all these other different elements that you can add to your blog posts um, if it makes sense. So for example, let's say I wanted to link my social icons at the bottom of my blog post. We can do that in here. And uh, let's say we wanted, we could pick the design here. Uh, I like the I like the default design, and if we wanted to change them to be large icons, we can do that, and then we can pick the individual icons. So let's say if they have uh, YouTube, so we can add a, a link to our YouTube channel here. Uh, we'll say youtube.com slash Tony Florida, and that'll link to my my YouTube channel, and then let's say we want to link to my Twitter account, which I don't even have a Twitter account, but you do the same thing, Instagram, build up your social icon so people can uh, go directly to your, your social um, uh, accounts, social media accounts. Okay, and then the one other thing here in your blog post is the featured image. So there's an image associated with every blog post. There can be an image associated with every blog post, and you can set that here for the featured image. So let's pick a featured image and I have something on my desktop that I'll just upload directly to WordPress. And this is just a picture of me um, during my travels. So that'll upload here. It'll give it a couple seconds for it to finish and process. And there we go. So for the alt text, that's just, um, alt text is basically if somebody comes to your website who is blind and they're using a screen reader, instead of, they, they won't be able to see the picture, obviously. So instead of um, seeing the picture, they can hear a description of the picture. So this will be Tony traveling in India. So it's always good for that purpose and for search engine optimization purposes to add an alt text for your images. So that is uh, the featured image. I'll show you where that shows up in just a bit. Um, but let me also show you, like uh, if we wanted to add a, another picture into our blog post, we can do that. Um, between my name and the social icons, we can add a new element here. They're called blocks. Let's upload a different image here from our desktop as well. Uh, it's not really relevant, but I'll upload this picture of an iPad just to show you how that works. And same thing, when that's finished processing, then I think we'll be good to go with publishing our first blog post. So um, 
yeah, there's nothing else I want to say here. Let's go ahead and publish that. And let's take a look at our, our website uh, right now. So um, let's go back to the WordPress. Oops. Publish. Yes, we want to publish now. Um, let's view the post and that'll take us to our actual post. So you see we're at Tony Teaches tech.com and then the month the the year month day and then the name of the blog post is welcome to my blog so here's the title the featured image that i talked about that was inserted in here automatically here's the content of the blog post this is my first blog post thanks for stopping by the picture and the social icons i'm not actually why did those uh i must not have saved those other two. oh because i didn't provide links to them that's why so we would have to do twitter.com slash tony I, that's probably not my Twitter handle, but uh, just to show you, Instagram.com slash, I think it's TNflow. Okay, so if you can update that, those changes should show up. Let's view it, and yeah, there we go. Now we got our social icons. Um, you'll see here that uh, the author of this is Tony Teaches Tech underscore some numbers and letters. I'll show you how to change that in a second to be like my actual name. Um, but yeah, this is what the blog post looks like. If we go back to our homepage, uh, we see a feed of our latest blog posts, just a quick snippet. And then the original blog post, the hello world one that was default added to our website. So, um, let's, let's change the theme though, like, cause that's a big, another big part of WordPress is the theme that you use. So you can easily swap out a theme, uh, to change, not the content, but the, the layout, the colors, the text, the fonts, all that stuff. So right now we're using the 2021 theme. We also have these three other themes installed, but if we wanted to add uh, another theme, and themes are similar to plugins, there's like thousands and thousands of different themes that you can choose from. Um, here you can see some of them, this featured ones. Here's some popular ones. Um, there's 3,942 popular ones, but if you have a theme in mind that you like, that you uh, found somewhere else, you can search for that on here. The one I like is Generate Press. So let's install this one. And the reason I like Generate Press is because it's it's a simple theme, it's fast. I like all my websites to be fast. Um, so having a, a good foundation for your website to be uh, fast is, uh, it depends on the theme uh, in a lot of respects. So we have now installed and activated the Generate Press theme. So let's go back to look at our website and you'll see that it looks much different. Like we don't have that greenish, bluish background color. Everything is in um, these block kind of card elements. And we have our main content here and then a sidebar over here and our header up here. So if we look at our blog post, that'll look different as well. Um, if we click on this actual blog post. Welcome to, oh, this is the blog post. So the featured image, uh, the title, again, the content, the picture, social icons, etc. cetera. Um, let's go to the WordPress dashboard. I wanna keep my promise and show you how to change the author name. So if we go up here to my profile, um, right now the name, the public display name is this. Um, if I fill in my information here, Tony Florida, uh, the nickname, let's call it Tony Teaches Tech. Now I have other options under display name publicly as. I can say, show my name is just Tony, Tony Florida, Florida Tony, or Tony Teaches Tech. I think for this, I'll just pick Tony Florida and then update my profile. And now if you go back to the WordPress, uh, we'll see that now this blog post is by Tony Florida and not that other username. Um, I think one other thing I want to show you is the, uh, and, and by no means is this going to be a comprehensive WordPress tutorial. This is just some of the, the basic functionality that you can do with WordPress. Um, if you, if you're looking for more than this, I have plenty of other videos on my channel and I'll mention one of those specifically at the end of this video, which I highly recommend you check out. But the last thing I want to show you is, um, under pages. So j similar to blog posts, you can also add pages to your website. Um, pages are more like your, your contact page, your about page, um, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that's not, uh, doesn't have a date associated with it, whereas like a blog post is published on a certain date. Your pages are more so um, just permanent pages on your website. So if you want to do something like that, 
uh, that's where you would create it. And it's a very similar process to making a blog post. So if you click on add new, you see the similar uh, block editor in here where you can add those different elements. Um, so yeah, we won't do that, but uh, uh, the, the one video that I do recommend you guys check out is this one right here. It's 15 different things to do after installing WordPress. Check that out. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more like this from me in the future, and if you do, I'll see you in the next one.